Greetings, everyone. This is your fat and sassy YouTube expert, Daryl Eves. Now, I know a lot of you really would like to make more money on YouTube, and we talked about all the different ways that you can actually do that. And honestly, one of the most powerful ways and most lucrative ways to do that is through sponsorship. And if you think it's a difficult thing, you really need to watch this video. You need to stay tuned. DarylEves.com now, in previous videos, we actually discussed many options to make money on YouTube, and we discussed in detail that it's a really effective way. And I know a lot of you right now watching this video are like saying, well, you know, my channel's not big enough, or I can't attract the right sponsors. And we had a series of videos that actually discussed about sponsorship and a service called FameBit, uh, which I really think is a great idea, and they're starting really to take hold. And we actually uh, found one of my subscribers. I was trying to figure out who would be a great, uh, great fit, and we could kind of walk them through the application process. Well, we, we, we did that, and we wanted to have a results video. So this is actually a results video from one of my subscribers going through the process of FameBit, and it's Patty. How you doing, Patty? I'm doing great, Daryl. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks you, thank you so much for uh, coming on and, and having this conversation. I love it. <laughs> Me too. Um, so anyway, why don't you just give us a, a brief overview of what your channel's about, uh, just so that you know some new viewers can get some background on it. Okay, Daryl. Well, um, I am. I guess I would be considered maybe a beauty and a lifestyle channel. I do a lot of the typical beauty things that the beauty channels do, but I also do some decorating and just some blogging outdoors, showing the area where I live and, and just talking. That's great. And uh, how long have you been doing it for and how many subscribers do you have? Uh, I have a little over 12,000 subscribers. Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> uh, and also, um, I've been doing this seriously a couple of years. Now, Patty, you have an amazing channel. I just, you know, I, I actually subscribed to your channel and I wanted to kind of see what you were doing. And it looks like you're getting some momentum. And uh, that's the reason why I picked you. We went through this application process to uh, show you actually how to, to get some sponsorship. And so why don't you kind of talk about um, what type of sponsorship deals did you actually get since the time that we submitted the first uh, applications? How long did it take to get word back from the sponsors that they're willing to work with you? And kind of the process. Okay, Daryl. Well, when we did the training initially, it was for the Fit T. And uh, I submitted that uh, proposal. And it took a while for me to hear from them, to be honest with you. But in the meantime, I went ahead and how, how long? How long was a while? How long was a while on that? Uh, probably, may, I'm thinking maybe a couple of weeks for that one. I heard from some of the other ones that I submitted before I heard from Fit T. Well, that's and um, yeah, one of them I heard maybe within the 48 hours. It was really quick. It surprised me. But um, so it was fit tea. I did. I actually sent a proposal for a mineral makeup. I use mineral makeup. I thought I would be perfect for mineral makeup, and the company contacted me again fairly quickly and told me that they really were not interested in me doing anything with the mineral makeup, but they had a skincare line. Would I be interested in that? And of course I said, yes, you know, skincare is right down my alley. So, so you, you, they, submitted, you submitted an uh, quite a few applications after we went through the process and you yeah, got immediate yes. feedback from one of them. And one of them says, well, maybe this product's not good, but this other one would be better. And you yeah. said, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, we negotiated a little bit, you know, on the fee, and um, that was that. Well, that's that. And then that, now that's that's what I like to hear is because a lot of people uh, think that sponsorships are are difficult to get, and they can be. But with this service, like with with Famebit, 
it, it puts the sponsors right with the creators so you can have that conversation. So you submitted an application and they're like, well, we looked at your channel and that would be great, but we have a better product that we'd like, like to do. And then you kind of negotiated with them on, on price. And my, my question to you though, and this is a very, very important question is with that sponsorship uh, deal that you actually got, did you actually make more money than you usually do with AdSense uh, through the different sponsorships? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I, I so made quite those pre a bit more okay, money. go ahead. Quite a bit more money. So you had with, a, with a, a more more money through a sponsorship deal than you were doing the pre-roll ads and the ads on on your your videos, which is great. And so, you know, it's a way to supplement it because you might not get a sponsorship deal every every week or every month, you know, or whatever. And, and this is a great way to say, okay, I know I'm going to get X amount in, in ad revenue and the sponsorship deal can bring in a lot, a lot more from there. Um, how has that kind of changed your perspective? Because I know you were a little skeptical uh, when we first started, Patty, about getting a, a sponsor and, and having a sponsor like your channel because you thought that your channel was too small. Uh, well, it has changed. Uh, I have I found that there are people who like me. I sort of have a niche, Daryl. I'm 71, almost 72 years old, and I'm way above that uh, typical beauty YouTuber. So it's um, my husband just walked in. <laughs> it's uh, it's. You know, I I was a little bit afraid of that. So, I mean, I've been really pleased that the brands have been interested in me at my age. You know, and, and that's the thing is you have a niche, you have a following, and there are brands looking for your specific niche. And, and a lot of people think, oh, you know, well, that's great for her, but it can't happen to me. But the reality is, it's just getting in front of the right people that are looking to to target that same group. Because if you if you literally congregate an audience and you get an audience watching you consistently, there is always I don't care what you do, there is always someone looking uh, to do some promotion there. Would you agree with that, Patty? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, yes. So let's Probably. talk. Let's talk about uh, some of the things that you learned. Um, so. Uh, we went through the application process uh, to be very direct because you, you realized using FameBit, there's uh, the people that are actually looking for uh, creators to do these sponsorship deals has a, quite a bit of information. Uh, what, what did you learn through the application process? What works? What doesn't work? What to, advice would you get the, give the viewers here today? Well, you know, Daryl, pretty much I've, I've followed the process that you taught me, the three steps. And, I, you know, that seemed to work for me. So naturally, I stayed with that. Well, and, and anyone that's watching this, if you have any questions about the three steps, in the description below, you'll be able to find the link and you'll be able to watch uh, that specific video where we talk about the three steps of attracting um, that specific uh, uh, sponsor through the application process. So you can check that out. Um, was there anything that you learned um, that you would like to discuss? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I did learn that you're not going to get every sponsorship that you send a proposal on. <laughs> uh, I think some of the ones that I thought I would be better at, that would be better suited for my channel, you know, didn't like me or didn't want me. Yeah, and um, what now? You told me before we were we're doing this this uh, you know live interaction. Um, you were telling me about someone that accepted your proposal but then rejected it. Could you tell us about that? Yes, uh, I had a brand uh, right off the bat. We agreed to everything. They were fairly quick coming back to me. We agreed on the price, the whole nine yards. They sent me the product even to use and then when I was ready I, uh, when I was ready to do the video I realized that it had not been funded so I started having communication with FameBit because you never want to film the video I learned that right. you never want to film that video until you the funding is there and you're ready to go so I, um, like I say I through working with Adam at FameBit, we realized that it had not been funded. And then um, further 
you know, investigation role at the company said they just really had changed their mind about me. Yeah. And, and, and I, a lot of creators would take that hard because you go, oh, okay, they accepted me. We worked out a deal, but that's kind of the nature of the business. That's the kind of the way that it works until they fund. Um, it's literally up in the air from there. And, and also, well, I, and you know something, Gil, may I say something about that? Yes. Also, I accepted, uh, a proposal and we agreed to the money the whole nine yards and um, after think really thinking about it I realized that that product definitely was not not for my channel you know it was something that for me personally yes I could I was okay with but I just didn't feel like it was a good fit for my channel I didn't think my viewers would like it and I made the contact with them and with Facebook and told them that I would not do it. So you did the, you did the exact same thing that they did. And so it wasn't too late before you made the video, you were able to get out of that as well. So that's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, some other, some other things. And I, you know, I've, I've listened to a lot of creators and I've actually, for my own channel, have, have used FameBit and, you know, for other, other creators that I, that I help as well. And one thing that I do know, I do know this for, for a surety, if you wanna be paid fast, you gotta use PayPal. Okay, and PayPal, you'll immediately get money within 48 hours. They'll just pretty much put it in your PayPal account. If you want the slow way <laughs> to get uh, your money, then you wanna do it through a check, okay? And the slow way would be, you know, once it gets processed. And you know, bigger corporations and companies like FameBit, FameBit's not the biggest, but they have a process, they have accounting department and so on. The way that it works is they'll, they'll submit that re request and then it puts in a pile and then they, they cut checks maybe once a month, twice a month to pay their bills. And then it takes time to, to go from there. So if you miss the cutoff, you might be uh, six, maybe even seven weeks uh, before you get paid. And that that's actually a natural thing that occurs with bigger corporations that use uh, that, that type of method. Now, if you want to be paid quick with FameBit, Patty, would you agree with me that they need to use uh, PayPal? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's, I think that's the difference right there. And the reality, guys, if you're really serious about sponsorship, if you're really serious about doing it, literally focus in on what you're trying to accomplish on YouTube. Start making great quality videos that attracts a certain demographics. And then you can use services like FameBit uh, to look for sponsors that are looking for your type of content. Now, I know a lot of people, when I was reading through the comments, they are really, really, really concerned about, you know, it's more, you know, for, you know, beauty and fitness uh, for FameBit. Uh, but as of late, you know, as we were going through, uh, Patty, what would you say what the sponsors are actually looking for? Who would you say, what type of channels would you say that they're actually looking for? Well, just read, you know, within the past few weeks, it seems like there are a lot of gaming and men's, uh, men's wear, men's products, uh, it, it, there's just more of a variety there, I think, for everyone. A lot of apps, those types of things. So, so yeah, you know, yeah. I think it, it's very, it, a lot of different things. You know, and that's the thing is they're going to continue to expand the sponsors because the reason way, the reason how they make money is when they put the deals together, they get a percentage. Uh, so that percentage is if you're doing a deal for $100, they take a percentage out of that $100 to negotiate that deal. That's how this uh, fame bit uh, gets paid. Uh, that's how the, the creators get paid and the sponsors actually gain value is got, you know, getting that more uh, bigger exposure to their audience or potential uh, uh, clients uh, through creators like you. Well, Patty, thank you so much for coming on. Was there any last words of advice, wisdom, words of wisdom that you'd like to give uh, the subscribers on my channel? Well, you know, Daryl, I think you should just go for it. Uh, I think that uh, it's it's been a learning experience for me. It's been a fun. It's been something fun for me to do. It's given me an opportunity to to show my viewers, my subscribers, products that. I had not even heard of before, uh, and 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 I was a little bit worried in the beginning that my subscribers may not like the sponsored videos. But I'm finding that you, know, I think if I did too many, they would. But I want to keep that 
at a level where they're accepting of it too. I don't want all of my videos to be sponsored. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do it. You know, just I'm going to only go after products that I truly feel will fit with my audience. Yeah, and I, I would say, and I really appreciate you bringing this up, I, I would really say don't become one of those channels that just creates videos to, to promote a product. You know, uh, that's not why people actually subscribe to you. Uh, but do products that would complement your audience, but don't literally sell yourself during the process. Just do a great review. You know, if you don't like the product, say you don't like the product. And that's, that's the reality of it. You don't have to do it. I would only do the things that you actually like and would bring benefit back to the viewer. And uh, when you do that, guess what, guys? Um, that's where you know these things will actually work for you. And you can literally make a lot more money through sponsorship than you do with the um, AdSense revenue that's generated. And when you combine both of them, you make a lot more money uh, through that as well. Well, thank you, Patty, uh, so much for coming on. And all of you that are interested in sponsorship, I have a few videos that if you really, really want to um, learn more about sponsorship and also the application process that Patty went through, through uh, uh, FameBit, you can check out the videos here. And then also for those that have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of great things coming out. You're gonna see a lot more live interaction just because I like it. I think it's fun, I think it's engaging. And I think this is where YouTube and everything's going is, is through uh, live interaction. So thank you so much for coming on and have a wonderful and productive day.